a long, desperate and difficult search. Police divers spent the day scouring the frigid waters of the Rideau River for the body of a missing teenage boy. He and three friends came here around 9 o'clock Wednesday night to go skating and fell through the ice. Two were able to climb out and call for help. Another 17-year-old Ahmed Ahmed was found dead hours later. We are all screaming, actually. It's really hard. It's really hard. We can't describe it, really. This is the worst feeling ever. Really, we can't do nothing. Just we can't do nothing. His family didn't want to speak on camera, but they say Ahmed was the youngest of four. He loved sports and wanted to be a police officer. He's very friendly with everybody. He helped his brother. Even his brother was crying. He said, even when I'm thirsty, I call him. He's downstairs. I call him, bring me water, and he come right away. He and his family came to Canada 10 years ago as refugees. As police gathered at the scene, his friends arrived with a candle to honor him. I know I speak for our community when we send our thoughts and condolences out to the families of the victims. And certainly this is an opportunity to hug the ones we love a little tighter tonight. The two teens who escaped the water were treated in hospital for mild hypothermia. These locks in a rural area of Ottawa's south end are a popular skating spot. But this year, the ice is very thin. With the warm weather, it's been hard. There's not much ice being made. So if you try to step on it, you're going to likely break through right now. And Nicole, this has been a, a major search effort. That's right. Search crews were here since early this morning, including police and divers, and they stayed well past sunset, setting up big lights so that they could continue to see as they combed the waters. And others have stopped by here too, as you saw, including those two friends of Ahmed who didn't feel like speaking to us on camera, but tonight, Ian, they are remembering him as a kind and helpful friend, and they say they are devastated. Nicole Williams in Manatick, just south of Ottawa.